Hi everybody, Anna K. Morris here with your coaching tip of the day. Um, I am really sweaty, was just on the way home from dropping the kids at summer camp and have started my hand at running, so I'm especially sweaty. Um, but I wanted to share this because I was just taking a little run, running, um, which is weird to say. Um, but I wanted to show you the street here. And this doesn't look like a lot. But if you know me, you know that I can find metaphors everywhere. And this is such a good metaphor. Um, so if you're listening to this, what I just showed you was an old brick road that's been covered with asphalt. I live in the historic district. And so some of the earlier roads from the 1800s um, are brick. And rather than deal with them, re rehabilitate them or pull them up, um, the, the city at some point decided to just pour asphalt over it. And it's such a good metaphor <laughs> because I say this a lot, it's icing on a mud pie. It's lipstick on a pig, right? It's still a pig, it's still a mud pie. It's still a brick road that now, as you can see, or hear, if you're listening to this on my podcast, um, get excited, I'm launching that soon, um, is that the stuff underneath it that didn't get dealt with is gonna come through. So I'm working on a new program right now that's, um, so I'm trying to hold this because my arm is exhausted. Um, I'm working on a pro new program right now that is fast tracking the 12 week class that I do into four weeks. You know, which is not the easiest thing, but I lead with, you have to feel how shitty it feels. You have to feel the pain in order to start to make a change. And we are so culturally inept is one word, but like culturally um, confused, not encouraged to feel the hard stuff, to feel the bad stuff, to feel the yucky stuff, to deem anything that's not happy as bad and you should medicate or go do X, Y, Z to make it go away. And I would say, don't. Lean in to the yucky feeling. So this morning something happened and I just got crazy jealous. Like I saw something and was like, oh my God, I want that. Why don't I have that? I went down this like very, very yucky road and jealousy is my favorite because jealousy is a roadmap. I'm like, oh, I actually want what that person has. Okay, great. Put that on the vision board. Get that on my goal list. Make, make an action towards having that. So my point is with this road, as you can see, the stuff that didn't get dealt with came right back up, which is a metaphor for our lives. If you don't deal with the stuff that is the yucky, the dark, the shadow side of you, right? Then there, it will, it will show back up. It just always does. It always, always does. So I encourage you to lean into those feelings, feel what it feels like. And only when you get like how absolutely crummy it feels to feel that way, will you start to make a change? Will you be like, you know what? I actually don't like drinking this much wine at night. And I think I'm gonna give it a 30 day reset a try. I don't like how I feel. Oh, there goes the stroller. I didn't have it locked. Well, shit, good thing the kids aren't in here. I lock it when the kids are in there. Anyway, so my point is, if you don't feel the pain, you're less likely to make the changes. So in my private coaching group, I know that like so many of the women, you just get fed up, right? You just get freaking fed up with yourself. And only when you feel how incredibly tired and fed up and pissed off, I mean, you name it. When you start to feel that, that's when you'll do something. That's when you'll enroll for my next coaching program that starts in September. That's when you'll listen to a podcast that inspires you. That's when you'll go for a run. Like I started running just because I was like, I'm not pushing myself enough. I like, I'm kind of on easy street right now. What would it feel like to push myself? And so running is a very natural way to do that for me. I also like knowing that if there's a loose dog, I can run from it. <laughs> so, 
So go and like feel the feelings and only then can you really like make a lasting change. So I wanna encourage you to keep watching these coaching videos. Sign up for my newsletter. I have um, a, a really exciting free giveaway that I'm working on right now that's um, four simple steps to eliminate your stress and overwhelm. So you've got the first tip, it's leaning into how bad it feels. <laughs> so there's tip number one. Uh, there are three more in a coaching video. So I hope that you'll sign up for my newsletter and you will get that when you do. Okay, I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.